Trentin's gone. He's peeled off the front and decided to attack here. Quick check over the shoulder. Now, who's going to be uh, tempted to uh, to chase him? 14 kilometers to go, and he's just coming into the foothill of this final test. And once he starts climbing, um, then will there be any catching of him? He's shown that he can get over the hills, often doing it uh, in the company and on behalf of others. But frankly, this is a big ask, and uh, not many have the answer, Sean. He's off. Yes, he is off, and uh, he's looking uh, very, very aggressive there. He was, you know, following the attacks a lot there. We can see the rider, uh, Pierre-Luc Perichon, uh, from uh, the Cofferty's team, looking to get across here. And you can see, you know, they're having a all having a look around oh. here, who's going to take up the chase, but uh, Trentin definitely, he looked one of the strongest men of this uh, leading part of the breakaway. He's at the Flamme Rouge, comes Trentin, he comes into Gap, a place that has graced the Tour de France on so many occasions, and finally he allows himself a look behind, and he sees absolutely nobody within his field of vision, and that has got to be an amazing feeling. Few twists and turns to be, to be had here, but the road surface is good, the sun is out and joy unbridled for this man he's done it before but he's hungry for more and he's going to come home here as a, a yet again a winner of a stage on the tour de france for the third time in fact uh, the crowd's cheering him in they'd have liked to have seen a frenchman it's not uh, quite going to happen for him uh, the italian is going to be part of a raiding party today as the tour starts to nudge towards italy at least on the road to the alps tomorrow and here he comes and he's realizing he's got them if the team screaming in his radio he rounds with 250 meters to go little tiny incline he may even get himself out of the saddle to sprint it home by way of making a point i think and the point is that you could never take trentin in a break and be comfortable because quite frankly he will have you thank you so much he says this day belongs to me my team italy and everybody who loves me <laughs> That was wonderful. Yes, well, what a ride. Um, he was one of the strongest men in the breakaway of the day. We could see that from the uh, point they started to attack each other in the final, what, 25, 30 kilometres out. And uh, then in the uh, shake-up out front, he was the strongest once again once they hit the uh, final climb of the day. We can see Askreen coming in here. I think he made the big mistake of not taking it up much earlier on the climb because he looked to be strong, but still he's going to finish plus 30 seconds down. He is, uh, Greg Van Avermaet, is determined to win the uh, sprint amongst the, uh, the, the others from this breakaway, and Greg gets there. Squinch also part of this. Oh, my goodness, what a day. What a day to ponder. <laughs>